Thank you for watching our ActiLife 6 training video. This video will be covering wear time validation. To begin, open ActiLife and select the wear time validation tab at the top. You will then need to add a data set. After your data set has been added, you need to ensure that the checkbox to the left of the data set is selected. Next, you will then need to select a wear time algorithm. You can do so by selecting the scroll down bar in the top left corner. You should then select the algorithm that best fits your needs. For more information on the validated algorithms and their parameters, you can view the blue hyperlinks in the bottom left hand corner. Once your algorithm is selected, you have the ability to use our default or custom setting. The custom setting will allow the individual parameters of an algorithm to be altered. For this video, we will be using the default settings. Once your algorithm is selected, you can then calculate the data set by selecting Calculate in the bottom center of the screen. Your outputs will now be visible and you can find a complete breakdown by selecting Details. When the Details option is selected, it will open up a floating window to show the wear and non-wear periods. These periods are represented on the graph and in the All Periods box found below. The wear time and non-wear periods can be confirmed or altered by clicking on the blue hyperlink next to each period. These changes can then be saved and the floating window will close. Once the data set has completed its wear time validation, the file can be exported using the export feature in the bottom right corner, or move to the data scoring tab by selecting the score option. We hope that you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.